All right, everyone, welcome back. It is cold. Well, it's not cold, but uh, it's colder than what I'm used to. I'll tell you that much. That's for sure. It's colder than what I'm used to. Uh, enjoyed myself out there. I think I saw, well, there's something else out there now. I saw a, a white egret, a snowy egret. Saw some turtles, uh, some kind of duck. I don't know what kind of duck, but some kind of duck. It gets pretty windy up here because the the air comes up up uh, on the hill, and so uh, get a little wind, and so it's kind of kind of nice to uh, just be out and about today. I'm just enjoying the bird watching. I didn't record anything. It's sometimes you just you just want to enjoy. You just want to enjoy the. Uh, the view. So let's turn the bike on here. That was a nice rest. Uh, okay, now I'm headed to uh, it's a little bit harder with all this stuff on. Okay, there we go. Alright, so uh, I'm headed to uh, I'm going to go through Mario Land. So I'm going to take the, I got the yeah, the machete is still here. The machete's still working, or the machete's still here, and the brakes are still working. <laughs> I'm on pedal assist one, and put me on pedal assist five, gear one. Oh. There we go. Uh, let me tell you, wearing uh, wearing black helps because. Uh, Although it was a cool, cold breeze, uh, being uh, being in the sun out there, I had, had the sun to my back because the telescope I had, the, the little telescope I had, I don't want to look directly in the sun by accident, so I always put the, uh, I always put the sun behind my back. Wait a minute, I'm going to... I actually want to go oh, geez. okay I want to go under the, underneath the tunnel this way <laughs> okay sometimes golf carts come out here oh. it's a little wet here sometimes this this tunnel floods okay good down this way. The golfers use it to cross the street. I'm gonna go through Mario Land. Of course, I'm gonna go through the Hidden Lake area because I like it. I like taking that ride. Oh yeah. I've never come down this way. I've always been on the other side of the road. But uh, today I'm going to come out this way. My nose was running all this time. Jeez. Just being out here in the cold, crisp air gives me a runny nose. So uh, I'm going to wipe my nose a couple times. Let's go over, over this hill. I'm do a little shortcut here. I didn't have to bust out the jacket yet. Okay. The frame, I'm getting a little frame flexing. Got some weight up in the front, so it's gonna frame flex. I don't know if you saw that or not, but uh, getting some frame flexing here. So I just gotta take it easy. That's the thing, you don't have to ride fast. Don't have to ride fast. You just have to ride smart. Sometimes I see an alligator out here. I don't think they're out here today. It's too cold. I see a lot of ravens. Ravens or a crow. Maybe a snowy egret over there. White ibis. I saw an alligator a couple summers ago. They just 
to be out here because the wind doesn't hit as hard. The wind doesn't hit as hard. And you're downed underneath there. There's the high school. Not going to the high school. School is in session though. School is in session. See some some kind of ducks. I don't know what they're called. Uh, I had somebody uh, try to ID uh, those little weird bird looking. It's, it's not a duck, but it looks like a duck. It goes into the water, swims around. I don't know. I'm not a bird expert or ornithologist. I think they call them ornithologists or bird experts. I'm going to go to the Hidden Lake and go through Mario Land, and after that I'm going to go home. I just wanted to use the uh, telescope, the Celestron 7DX telescope that I bought myself Black Friday at Academy. I'm liking it. I can see a lot, a lot. Of course, I do have a spotting scope, but... This one uh, is really light. I'm, I'm fascinated by the telescope. Whew. I can feel the cold on my shoulder. The, uh, the body armor is really uh, knocking the wind down. I can't feel the wind as much as I do on my arms and my shoulders. That's all right. You know, you want to, you, you build up, uh, I'm pedaling, so I'm going to, I'm going to get uh, overheated. So letting that air breeze through my arms makes a big difference. All right. I'm going to gear down a little bit. I see, I still see some ant mounds here and there. Here's some birds. Oh yeah, I hear the birds. They're out here. They're out here somewhere. I'm just checking my uh, paneer bag, my saddle bag here. Missing that strip, that uh, strap. It rained out here and got windy, so but it's not that muddy, which is good. I was a little worried if it would be muddy. Oh man, a lot of debris washed out. There's an egret way over there. I know as soon as I, I don't want to, I don't want to stop and reset my telescope and all that stuff. I'm going to take it slow though. Pedal assist three. These gloves, they still work. I can still shift. I can, I can still push the buttons for pedal assist. So. I just want to get to Mario Land and get on home. Uh, what are those? Turkey vultures or... Maybe another time. There's hardly any wind out here. It feels like uh, 65 degrees here. There's some ducks. Duckies. I'm going to try to ride slow so I don't scare the birds off too much. I hear a dog. All right. 
it, it rained a lot, so I'm hoping that uh, that uh, it doesn't get too muddy out in Mario Land. All right. Ooh. But I got the machete today. I got the machete, so. Oh, look at that. Look, the water has risen quite a bit since the last time I was out here, which was about a week ago, or maybe two weeks ago. Ugh. And man, the water has gone up a lot. It was way low. It's a little muddy out here. up at the sky, seeing where the birds are going. Wow, yeah, the water's gone up quite a bit. All right, and you know, you don't have to go fast. If it gets too cold, too windy, slow down, you know, take it easy. Take it easy, right? Water did rise a little bit, but not that much. Okay, I'm gonna go across the street, go through Mario Land. I got the machete. I'm gonna start hacking some bushes here, to make it clear, so I don't get the traffic here. All right. UPS guy was eyeing my bike. I saw him. Took a quick look. Or he could have been looking at me, you know. You never know. I am a very handsome man. <laughs> All right. Ugh. front bag feels a little heavier because I can feel the uh, the bike flexing. I'm not gonna be very aggressive here. Plus it's still wet around here so I've got to be careful not to slip. If the water is rising, hopefully the other side of where I'm going, the water is not uh, there's a creek on the other side of where Mario Land is, so hopefully it's not too high over there, either. Alright, I'm on pedal assist 3. That's fine. I have to gear down a little bit. Gear down to 2. Alright. And just take the grass here. Then head out to Mario Land. On. Uh, I'm looking at it. It looks very muddy. It looks very muddy. Uh, I'll take it though. I'll, tell, I'll take it. Just gotta be a little careful. You're down to one. go I get off the bike make sure there's no train coming then I'm gonna cross that's the key here I can usually hear them so I have their train horn going off
here this is where I was last time. <sighs> time to get the machete out. I'm gonna walk it. I'll walk it. Well, I guess let me write it down because it's pretty clear here. It's pretty clear here. So I can write it down. But now stop where. <laughs> Right about here. Right here. Okay, it's machete time. <sighs> we got all this debris on my bike already. Oh. All right. Oof. Let's see here. 